I will, well, I don't want to actually spoil anything for anybody. If you want to kick off and then we'll, we'll tell people about, you know, roles and responsibilities and stuff as we go. Absolutely. Yeah, looks like we have a good crew here now. So let's get it started. Welcome to the weekly planning meeting. As usually, as usual, you see our call technicalities and agenda here. We're time boxed to 30 minutes. The call is recorded. Um, it'll be unlisted on our YouTube so you can catch up. Um, please stay muted unless you're speaking. And we'll go through some fun news and games, core KPIs for the DAO, and updates from each part. Um, let's let's start with the fun. <laughs> this week, instead of the big news, let's start with the fun game, uh, as always. Let's, let's get guessing. So the fun fact for this contributor is that they got into Penn State for grad school, but decided not to go to grad school. And as a second hint, you have the frequently used emojis of this person. It's not Aaron. Well, like last week, we had someone who fit the criteria, but wasn't the person we had in mind. Um, it was Rochelle and Kat Jam last week. So it could be more people who did this. But does, does your father use these emojis on Discord? Do you think? If he knew what an emoji was, then he probably would. Fair. Oh, our ghost? No, it's not our ghost. This is fun. I thought it was going to be fun. Not Bill's. I have a hint, but maybe we can keep it coming for maybe one or two guesses and not have a hint. No, no more guesses? Okay, the hint is that this person's first job ever is being a contributor at Metrics DAO. It's not Brendan. This is, this is a tough one. This is, we had some easy ones, I think, maybe in the past. Mm, Jag guy? No. Helix, you got it. Sandesh. That's it. And he's not here, but he'll be watching the recording. And he said he's excited. <laughs> yeah, the Penn State stuff was designed to trip everybody up. Yep, Sensation's first job is be a contributor with all with us all out of out of school. So that's really fun. All right. We have um season three goals that we look at every meeting to remind ourselves. Uh one is to seamlessly transition bounties to metrics DAO. Um another is to distribute X metric to twenty five hundred holders, which has been passed. And another one is to grow activated on list community of users who have submitted a bounty or analytics challenge to 550. And um, let's start by seeing how we're doing on those KPIs. We have Aaron with KPIs, as always. Awesome. Thanks, Marina. Yeah, so, um, oh, I, can you refresh that this slide is not updated? I'm sorry. Oh, sure. Give me a sec. No. Perfect. Thank you. Um, yeah, so we hit January's goal. Um, I'd like to highlight that. So that's the number you actually see for February. We haven't updated it yet. Um, so we're at 3,300 holders. The goal to at the end of February is 4,000. So we're already 75% towards that goal. Um, pretty excited about the new courses that are taking off in Teachable and how we're marketing them. So I do think you know we'll once again see that we can hit another 1,000 holders in this month. Um, with challenges, we're currently at 30. With the plan um, was 44, or the goal was 44. There are some changes. We've, we're having some meetings around how we actually want to be doing some challenges, splitting them out more, so that we can actually get the results that we need. And additionally, flip side is you know having more partners that they want to drive insights for. So we should see those challenge numbers you know in the next week get closer to that 44. Um, and ideally, throughout the month, we'll add additional few more uh, as we lock in additional deals. And then spend, as you can see. Um, that's still we're roughly like 50 or yeah 58 percent away from goal um we're trying to generate new deals and things like that um but that is an area of focus for us right now thanks aaron for these updates and if no one has okay. questions let's go to analytics and we have patrick okay so i think i believe this slide was updated because i looked at the partial week data 05 to 11 feb so anything we're saying is presumed to be for the previous full week from 29th Jan to 04 Feb. 
as you can see, it is, we're down uh, 13 active analysts compared to the previous week. Um, and that we have not beaten the 129 active as of the last week of December, 18th to the 24th. Uh, however, we did add 14 new analysts to the overall labor market last week. And season two still holds a record for new analysts in one week. I don't remember which week that was. I believe that is the uh, week of uh, sometime in December. Okay, that's it. That's my update. Thank you. Any questions, concerns? Thanks, Patrick. I think it's actually August for season two, that 114 little peak. Oh, yeah, season two. I read over season here. Four. I don't know why. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it was when I was pulling this up. It was interesting to see that that peak of one of analysts in one week has not been beaten yet, even though the kind of the cumulative week after week having strong numbers is something we're having um, in this season. All right. Yeah, if anyone has any, Aaron sorry, go ahead. Wrote a question in the chat on the side. Said, can we get data on the analysts that are active week over week? Isn't the left pane exactly that data? Um, yeah, I meant like the individual data so we can see where those 13 people are dropping off. Um, there's just some weeks there's dips, but the amount of challenges don't really change. So I'm just trying to understand who the user base is that may be falling off. Okay, just give me a give me an idea who updated this slide and from which data. I updated it. Okay. But this is from the dashboard which Kakamura maintains, so he might be a good source as well, or Bounty Bunch overall might be. Okay, I'll, I'll close with you after this, and we can we can see if we can get the same the actual names. Sounds good. Thank you. Thanks. Right. Let's go on to peer review with LT. Hey, so here are some. Uh, KPIs for, um, I guess I didn't write January through February, uh, focusing on the last week, um, and just some basic numbers that we received over 200 submissions from 105 active analysts. Uh, so far, some of the reviews are still in progress, so these numbers of seller submissions may change, but four seller submissions and uh, nine programs overall and just a listing of the um, submissions received in the last uh, last week. And some of these, the ones with lower, um, the, the three on the bottom are still in progress. So those numbers may go up, but this is just like um, the numbers of submissions we received in this time period. So um, still fairly high. And um, uh, yeah, and you'll see more in the bounty ops slide of, uh, related to number of bounties we're running. Thanks, Soltarell. Um, if, if there are no questions, let's do bounty ops. Hi, everyone. Uh, you may notice some uh, new characters on the upper right. So these are the bounty, bon bon bounty bunch uh, spirit animals. Just here for your viewing pleasure. So um, accomplishments from the past week, we launched nine bounties and coordinated reviews. Uh, we're making good progress on our backlog and many payments were sent out. We also backfilled Asana, which is our operations calendar that we use with uh, other pods that seek information from us. So a lot of updates on Asana. Um, we moved some of our discussions from private channels into public channels. So this is a, a push from the DAO to try to do things in public a little bit more. So we've started doing some of that. Um, and we also decided to experiment with holding tiebreakers in the X metric masters channel. So these tiebreakers are when two bounties score exactly the same. Uh, sometimes we need to resolve those ties in order to finalize payments. 
and this is taking a lot of time on our team. So we want to move that to some of our X metric masters and let them vote on tiebreakers. So we haven't really uh, started, but we've decided that we're going to experiment with that in the near future. Uh, this week's priorities, we're continuing to prepare payout sheets for batches 20 and above. And we've got nine bounties planned this week. Concerns or blockers, we still have some amount of backlog to our payments, but we're making quick progress on those. Um, uh, a little bit of a concern is um, planning the bounty process once the app is launched. Uh, because we haven't used it much, it's, it's a little bit hard to to um, make decisions on certain uh, process details in the app uh, before we actually use it. Um, and another concern is we want to decentralize tiebreakers and dispute resolution. So um, um, we, we have started to um, we've created what we want to call a review council that will help us with, with certain processes. And um, basically, we want to leverage uh, the community a little bit more in, in uh, certain things that take a lot of time from bounty ops. So um, we're actively uh, trying to figure out how it's going to work. Um, but uh, we have broad lines for this process. So this concludes County Ops updates. Let me know if you have any questions. Otherwise, I'll pass the mic back to Marina. Thank you. Thank you, Zook, for the detailed update. Lots of information there. It was really cool to see. Really glad to see that uh, payments are moving forward. I know analysts will be super excited to see that as well. Um, yeah, I had a question actually, Zook, about um, the review council. I'm sure it's you know maybe somewhere in the discussion, but is it going to be a network that's also like badged and somehow utilized through the um, badger capabilities that we have? Yeah, that's right. The intention is to badge them. Um, so these would be basically in charge of of tiebreakers. Um, but right now. We're wondering how it, for example, so um, so for example, if um, if a community analyst uh, disputes the result of their score after payment is issued, um, or if if the reviewer council changes the score of a submission, how will that affect payment? So. So we have the, the broad lines figured out, but we're just trying to make sure um, to iron out uh, these these details before we launch it. But to your question, yes, these um, members of the review council would be badged. Nice, super cool. Thank you, Luke. Um, if there are no more questions, let's go to protocol dev with Nomadic this week. Hey everyone. Yeah, thank you, Marina. Uh, so this week is pretty exciting. We're going to start the staged rollout. I've been calling it day one of week one of phase one because the intention is to have multiple phases within the staged rollout. Each phase is going to last a week, a couple weeks as we get feedback and ship improvements to the application. And all of those have to start someday. So, drum roll, please. You can already read it. I should have done some cool animations. But we're targeting Wednesday, February 8th for kicking off the first round of testing of the new application. We have a list of 30 or so, 30 plus people, including people from the community here at Metrics Now. Um, I'm going to start with you. Need your help effectively breaking the app, using it as much as you can trying out how you would use it in your workflows. And we have some bug report forms. We'll be expanding upon that and fixing issues. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. 
So we have marketplace creation, challenge creation, claiming, submitting, and reviewing is what we're targeting for phase one. Um, some of the rewards payout stuff is still in flight, but that'll be a very fast follow. And that's all of this is going to involve a lot of incremental improvements to the UI UX, as well as bug fixes and behavior changes as needed. Yeah, and so our goals for this week are to start getting feedback. And we're going to continue to iterate on rewards and payment curves. Um, that's very complicated math, and Solidity is not the best at supporting complicated math. And so we're still hammering on the best way to get our to get the DAO what they need for reviews and reward distribution in ways that's actually supported by Solidity, so everything can be done automatically on chain. We're also ramping up our like post MVP but pre token launch planning. Uh, we'll be calling that V2, so you'll probably hear that a lot. But that's like the next couple of months of work before the public launch of the token. And that's it for protocol dev. Any questions? No questions from me, but so exciting! Woohoo! Yeah, it's, on, been, on, phase on. <laughs> it's been like months of work. It's so cool to see it come together. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. The team has built this amazing thing. Can't wait to start training it out. So a uh, quick question I actually have. Um, so Private Alpha, you said, is going to be the like the internal contributor team who signed up. And then who do you plan for um, kind of the interim testing after that? Uh, for phase two, we're going to do a larger audience. Um, I'd want to chat with Elise and Drake to work out the intricacies of like who, um, but the intention is to have a lot more people doing a lot more things with the app because we'll already have gone through the first round of like just ensuring it works. Um, so more to come on that, probably. I don't, I'm not gonna commit to time. Probably soon. <laughs> soon, soon we will we'll be ready to start. Yeah, soon TM. Sounds good. <laughs> Thanks for sharing. Yeah, thank you. And if there are no more questions, let's go to BizDev with James. Hey, everyone. Um, so past week accomplishments um, sent out the proposal to the graph um, for the grant. We uh, further developed the scope of data creation with uh, Syntex, met with Kujira on uh, February 1st, met with Alluvio on February 2nd, and met with uh, Footprint Analytics also on February 2nd and met with Myosin Dow on February 3rd. Um, this week's priorities, uh, finish the proposal and submit grant for uh, synthetics. Continue conversations with uh, Myosin Dow um, to further understand the scope of work. Um, also need to align with GJ and Dave on Terra and the plans with that going forward. Get a go live date for near digital collective. Um, and there are now two dashboard asks. Um, as well as meet with Biconomy to determine steps moving forward and check in with Mochi Games. And I'll pass it back to you. Thanks, James. Love to see all of these um, cool meetings and hopefully us getting to work with all of these cool partners. If there are no more questions, we've got governance next uh, with none, and then treasury on the same slide with bills. Let's go to none. Hey everyone. Um, so last week we ratified a new signatory. It's uh, Sunslinger or GJ. Um, so they get to take over official paperwork stuff. Uh, on the same kind of path, we started doing a lot of legal work with the bylaws, making sure they follow our current governance process and how to match them up and stuff like that. Um, it's not super entertaining for most of you, I'm sure. So I'm not going to talk about it too much. Um, this week is just kind of continuing that and then um, kind of developing some resources to surround governance that aren't directly governance related or like they are, but they're not voting for anything. They're just kind of guides on how things work. Um, and then one last thing that wasn't on here. Oh, um, I think Drake put on reengage Avi as a resource. Uh, and so Fish basically loop Avi in again. Um, he was there for the last legal meeting and was a help for that for sure. And one last thing that wasn't on here was that um, there's a couple of posts on the forum, I think, that Drake put up 
uh, about reviewers and would definitely encourage everyone to go check those out and leave any comments if they want to. Thanks, Nan. I'll post the discourse links in the chat. And um, if there are no questions, we have Treasury with Bills. Hi, everyone. Uh, so last week, Treasury tested our Osmosis and Solana multi-sigs, and those tests were successful. Uh, the January core contributor payment was just signed this morning, and the graded contributor payout sheet is actually it just got notified that that's ready. So I'll be uploading that and getting y'all paid for January. Um, so we have some billing updates. We build Flipside for all of the February bounties we're running. So this is a big invoice for uh, Flipside self-funded bounties, and then Solana and Osmo and Near. So we'll get some some money coming through to the treasury this week. And our probably biggest priority this week is uploading a bunch of bounty payments and X metric payments. There are too many to list. Um, so I'll be doing a lot of that this evening, tomorrow, all throughout the week. Uh, so if you are a signer, please have your notifications on because there's a lot of action coming through. Um, last thing, I didn't write it on here, but I do want to touch a bit on 1099s. Uh, firstly, apologize for any miscommunication. Just bear with us because this is uh, all uncharted territory mixing DAOs and like the already set in place US legal framework. So please just understand this is the DAO trying to get ahead of what might be required of us. So big thank you to to Jack Guy and Marina uh, putting these forms together. If you could please respond to the one uh, Marina posted in the contributor channel um, this morning, that would be um, amazing. So that's all for now. Thanks, Bills. Um, I think, okay, I think this screen share is flickering for Drake. I don't know if it's flickering for anyone else. But yeah, I'll post the contribution or uh, contributors link in the chat so y'all can fill out a tax form uh, or a form that will help metrics now fill out the taxes for its first time um, during the tax season. So I uh, would appreciate all your help. And let's go to our next update, which will be curation. Org. Can you hear me well? Yep, here you are. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, so short and sweet update this week, uh, harping on um, kind of the end of BizDev's update there. Uh, we've been talking with Synthetics about uh, some curation that's going on with them um, and kind of got the uh, you know high-level design approved by the Synthetics team uh, you know, to be flushed out a little bit more in depth and detail. Uh, we're going to meet tomorrow internally to talk about budget so we can figure out uh, kind of what to move forward with in the next step, which would be an actual grant request from them. Um, so that's going to be the, the steps this week is to determine a number that we want to go to them with uh, based on that high level design. Um, and that's about it right now. Uh, the Cosmo stuff is still kind of on the back burner pending other conversations uh, with that ecosystem. Uh, but hopefully synthetics will be uh, closing and moving forward within the next couple of weeks and then we can start getting to work on it. Awesome. Thanks. Thanks for, for the update. Let's go to education. This week we're splitting up education, marketing, and community. So you'll see some uh, more detailed information here. So this, this goes to Vaida. Hello. So last week uh, we had a DAO 101 webinar. Um, and also launched um, the Algorand ecosystem course on Teachable. We also worked on uh, just structuring uh, the tasks and seeing how can we make it more organized um, in Asana. And also we had the fourth session for our um, Analytics 101 live program. Starting this week, we actually are going to be hosting two webinars per week. Um, so every Monday and every Wednesday at noon ET time, we have a web webinar. 
So we had Algorand today, and we're going to have Cosmos 101 on Wednesday. Also, now we'll be launching educational um, courses every two weeks on Teachable for the different ecosystems that we are running webinars on. And we're planning to have Ethereum um, course ready by, by the end of this week. So we'll be adding a new ecosystem course onto Teachable. Then we'll be working on further promoting our um, different uh, ecosystem courses and webinars. Also next week on Tuesday, we are launching our Web Analytics 201 course. Like it's, well, it's not going to be a fully open course yet. Um, it's uh, like a trial run in a way it's with uh, less people, but we actually also preparing or getting that ready. Um, and also we'll be looking into how can we further engage our teaching assistants and how can we further involve them in even creating the 201 program that we are going to be launching very soon. And as well, some further work on the roadmap and just kind of clarifying how we want the educational programs to look like and what would be the important KPIs to track for those. Thanks, Veda. If there are um, no questions, let's, have, let's do our next um, new slide that is an extension of the previous growth slide. Uh, it's marketing updates and these are by Helix this week. Yes, thank you, Marina. Um, that was awesome, by the way. We got so much going on with education. It's We're turning into a courses and webinars machine. Uh, that's awesome. On the more like brand marketing side, let's say, or we, we used to call it field marketing. We also got a lot going on. So last week we had a Twitter space with Lex Sokolin uh, from Consensus, which was really cool. Um, it got kind of like Web3 philosophical, which personally I really appreciate. Uh, I think it was well attended. And David, aka uh, Megafun, did a great, great job of interviewing him. Um, we also did promotion of the peer review upgrades slash changes. Um, and GJ joined Footprint on their community call, uh, which I understood was uh, was pretty cool uh, and went really well. Uh, then this week, this week's priorities, uh, we got, of course, promotion of all the courses, um, creating content that highlights key, that uh, means newsworthy takeaways from our best submissions. So kind of what uh, Stellar submissions was, but a little bit different. Uh, the book club is back, um, and Patrick has already been buying it everywhere, so I think that's a good thing. Uh, Data Dictionary, uh, Rob is still doing one term a week. Uh, just to keep it out there that we still got that going on. Uh, it's a cool project, so people know they can join it. Um, preparation work for app promotion. So, amongst other things, that's reaching out to people who have podcasts so we can kind of go on our little tour. Uh, if anybody knows anyone with podcasts, let me know. And then we also got really cool behind the charts with Kofi. Um, obviously, pretty well-known analyst in the space. And Rob will be interviewing him um, like he did Hildeby, which was really great. They really go into depth about like work, work methods, uh, et cetera. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. That's on Thursday. No concerns with blockers. Um, so that should be it. If anybody else from the great team um, has anything additional that they want to share, or if anybody has any questions, shoot. Thanks, Helix. Uh, Lots of. Yeah. Oh, go ahead. No, I was going to say if nobody has anything, I'll give it back to you, Marina. Uh, well, yeah, it doesn't sound like... Any questions? Any questions? No want to cut anybody off. Yeah, so. <laughs> oh. always lots of fun stuff. I think there's a question. No? 
Well, if there is a question anytime, you're welcome to post it in the meeting chat or ask on Discord or meet yourself. Uh, but yeah, good to see all the fun updates from marketing, from the marketing side of growth. I should say thank you, Helix. And yeah, last but not least, we have another new slide for community. And I want to welcome back Sunslinger to present the slide updates. Hey, squad. You get to sit through another community slide for me. Um, we haven't normally broken out more common to marketing and community, but we're doing that. Um, just some quick updates on what I've been up to. Uh, messaging all the Cantina folks over at Flipside because it's been a while and it's good just to check in, let them know what we're doing at MDAO in case they haven't heard. Um, messaging everybody who joins the Discord just to say hello, welcome, answer any questions. And then I've been meeting with Marina who will be on vacation for the rest of February. So we're talking about how the mods and me can cover messages so Marina can enjoy her vacation uh, and ultimately transition a lot of the bounty operations questions, payment questions, a lot of the basic stuff uh, to moderators, to subject matter experts, which will take some of the burden off Marina, which is long overdue, and also help us develop more systematic and more efficient uh, methods of answering questions that come up repeatedly. Uh, so I'm hyped for that. I'll continue to work with Marina on the transition plan uh, today. Uh, going forward, she'll be a lot more focused on developer and analyst relations, on education, on working with the education and growth pods, and really just leveling up our ability to run great educational content, deliver fantastic community analytics, communicate it outward. So super psyched for that. Uh, when she comes back. As part of that, we don't actually have a community pod, so I'm going to propose one. Uh, I think we have enough uh, really dedicated contributors, in addition, you know, Sandish, Gabriel, others who are helping out on the mod side. I would love to structure that as a formal pod, and so we'll be going through the processes to propose that uh, in advance of the next season. As for when the next season is, we haven't decided yet, but since that's been out in the wind, would love to move the conversation about how we put a bow on season three and move towards season four ahead as well. That'll be a great time for us to take stock of everything we've done to make any changes we want to make, like proposing a community pod, like proposing Marina to lead it, uh, and just all the other setup that comes with taking a breather, taking some time off, uh, and then setting strategic priorities for a next uh, batch of time. Woohoo, thanks, DJ, for this update. So excited to um, step back for a little bit and then be back with full force and do all this fun stuff on the community and analyst relations side. And um, I don't know if there are any questions or if there's anything more to add or any questions from other parts of this uh, meeting today. And if not, that takes us, to, takes us to the end of today's meeting. We're a little bit over, I just realized. But I um, hope you all uh, enjoyed learning about what everyone is up to. Thanks for being here. And um, see you here next week. Although not with me, but I don't know, maybe with Gigi? Uh, yes, I, <laughs> Marina, I sincerely, sincerely hope that on vacation <laughs> you are not signing in to the Monday call. I will be leading these at least for the rest of February um, and, you know, doing the work that Marina does to put slides together. Uh, so Marina, have a great time off. Um, please, anyone who is planning on DMing Marina, do not do that. <laughs> DM someone else, primarily me, but also Sandesh and Gabriel on community stuff um, so that Marina can delete Discord and have a good few weeks off. If she DMs you, tell her that you are <laughs> having a great time on vacation and to please go away. Thanks, CJ. <laughs> yes, everyone will ignore me according to the chat. Love that. <laughs> thanks, everyone. Um, thanks for being here. And um, I'll see you all soon. And have a great week. Thanks. Bye. Thanks, y'all. Bye. Bye, everyone. Have a good week. Bye. 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 Bye.